Coach Beasley. Was your one as easy as you thought it was going to be? <laughs> uh, it was a challenge. It was, uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. It was more uh, fun than I, than I expected it to be, actually. Um, hard, you know, challenging. Uh, probably doesn't do it justice with uh, kind of what we went through, but um, it's a process. All good things take time, and it's just going to take time to get things uh, to where we want to be. We've got a long way to go. Um, obviously, a team score is indicative of that, and the results this year have been indicative of how far we got to go, but we'll get there. It's just going to take time. Still guys alive, though. There's still guys who can make the NCAA tournament. Ibrahim can make the NCAA tournament yep. at, at 125. You know, there's two, two bids there? Two bids there. Two, two bids, bids there. at heavyweight um, that were still alive and, and uh, possibly a true fourth at 141. So 141, you're actually literally – depending who wins third and fourth, you're going to have an opportunity to wrestle for true fourth. Yep. It sounds like it. So, I mean, that, this is all huge, man. This is good stuff. Yeah. Um, Ibrahim, that guy's story is amazing. Ibrahim escaped, you know, civil war and people trying to murder him and all this yeah. crazy stuff. His story is amazing. He told it to me last year at the NCAA tournament. Um, what's it been like coaching him? He's a special young man, you know. Uh, he, he had a, I don't know, a 3.8, 3.9 GPA this year in engineering. Um, and he was ineligible last year in the, in the fall semester. Um, he's just uh, all in and, and does the right things. And, and uh, you know, he's, he's grown a lot. Um, and, and he's just a, a great young man. Uh, you know, first round today, he, he knocked off a guy who he'll have for third. The Tech followed him last month. Are you serious? Uh, yeah, yeah. So he'll have another match with him. Um, and that's exciting to have that kind of growth in, in a month and a half to go from getting Tech fall to beating somebody. That's pretty impressive, and uh, you know I think part of it is he peaked right, and, and he feels good, and, and all that kind of stuff. But but mentally, it's hard to beat somebody and beat you that bad. That, no, quit. Yeah, a huge swing, <laughs> but, right? But that, but that tells you how tough he is. I mean, you know, uh, he doesn't get down. You know, he's you can't hold him down. You can't keep him down mentally. Um, he's he's too positive and too much energy to, uh, to to stay down. You know, I learned a lot from him. Just did an interview last year, a six minute interview, right? I was like, man, when I'm having a bad day, at least. A murder squad didn't show to my up to my house or my neighbor's house and try and kill everybody. Yeah. That's that's literally what he survived. Yeah, it's an amazing, it's an incredible story if you've ever talked to him about it. But you know, looking beyond that, you guys got other positive things happening. You know, you're a first year guy. I mean, when did you even get the job? By the way, uh, it was September. Um, that's pr- mid September. Like the school late. year already started. Uh, preseason already started. Um, you know, so I jumped in and, and just got to work right away. Rolled up sleeves and, and got after it. Do you feel like you've made the progress that you want to in seven months? You always want to make more progress. You always expect to have a faster turnaround. Um, uh, one of my mentors told me uh, everything he's ever done took longer than he thought it would. Um, he told me that when I was at kind of a low point this year, probably that weekend we wrestled Clarion and Lock Haven. Uh, and, uh, and he said, you know, it's always taken longer, but it's always been more rewarding. And so that's something I keep, uh, keep in mind whenever we go through some hard times this year. You know, we're obviously not where I want to be. we got a long way to go. Um, but, but the big thing is we're seeing a lot of progress. I actually think uh, we wrestled the best today. We've wrestled all season by far. And we've got not a lot of points. You know, we haven't had a ton of wins, but, but we've uh, we beat a lot of people we weren't supposed to win. Almost every match that we've won today we weren't supposed to win. We were supposed to win uh, one or two matches today. Total. Really? And, uh, you know, to have however many we have and to be battling in the other matches, it's progress. You know, like, when you look at NC State and obviously the success they've had, you've been a huge part of that. How hard is it to just, I'm not a part of that anymore, and focus on, you know, yeah. George Mason? Well, I still love those guys and, and uh, you know, uh, excited for, for their staff and their team. They're doing great things, and, and I, I'm a fan now of their team. You know, I get to be a fan when we're not wrestling them, obviously. Um, so I, I still keep up with them and, and uh, you know, I want to support them. I know my, my wife and kids were watching uh, on, on dual screens, ACCs, and, and EWLs because, you know, my kids love, love all those guys and, and everything. Um, but it's hard to step away from a program that's, that's making the gains that they've been making over the last several years. Um, but it's just such a great opportunity, and, and I think it's a special place at George Mason. So um, I made the jump, and uh, I'm excited to continue to see uh, pack wrestling uh, improve and, and, and progress uh, as the year goes on. 141's coming up here soon. I think it's the second match, and they're wrestling fifth, the fifth match, the fourth match. They're, we got a uh, medical all that row, right? fit is for fifth, so we're fifth right now. You're wrestling. We're, we're, we're only wrestling if, uh, if we have the right – if. Uh, the right result happens uh, for us to get a true place. All right, let you get you guys warmed up. You got anything else for me? Uh, be uncommon. Thanks for the time. Good luck to you guys.